You know it's gonna be a rough day when someone is scrawled, find the key on the wall. Not how I wanted to spend my weekend, but here we are. Trapped in my neighbor's house with only graffiti to guide me, at least I'm with my friends. Oh, and I see something that looks suspiciously like a key. Let's take that and get out of here. All right, bugs, any thoughts on what's going on here? My bacon pal says, hey, we have to get out of here. Yeah, that's probably true. Mr. Popster have went insane. We have to escape. Just to clear things up here, Mr. Popster is my neighbor. My friends and I were selling wrapping paper for the school fundraiser, and we knocked on his door to see if he might want to buy some overpriced wrapping paper, and turns out the answer was no. Although it's not too late, I got some great deals. Ah! I also have ribbons and bows. Do you like bows? All right, so I think we're meant to gather that Mr. Popster hates wrapping paper, ribbons, bows, and all such accoutrements. He claims he doesn't want to be disturbed, but then why has he locked us in the house? Oh wow, maybe he have went insane. You know what, Mr. Popster? I don't want to be inside your house any more than you do, so I'm just gonna show myself out. No need to chase me. In the absence of other clues, might just follow this arrow. Whoa, one of seven nuggets found. That's a bit exciting. Unclear if we're talking chicken nugget or gold nugget. One is obviously more exciting to me than the other. Phew, you managed to escape him. Yeah, look, he's pretty angry, but he's quite slow. You really need to be careful next time. Careful of what is dirty laundry? Mr. Popster, how do you live like this? I will not pick them up for you. I am not your mother. Oh, what's happening over there? I kind of feel like he might be busting through the walls. So yeah, I'm just gonna escape through this vent, if that's okay. Hashtag vent life, hashtag you'll find me in the vent. Wow, okay, interesting development. We've ended up in the kitchen and possibly now I'm tiny. Don't want Mr. Popster to notice in case he gets some sort of idea that I might make a good pizza topping. Think I managed to get away with that. Is this a vent or is this a very bad idea? Oh my gosh, bad idea. Gotta keep your wits about you when you move through Mr. Popster's kitchen laser box. Is that normally how you do the dishes? Also, I know it's rude to comment on other people's bodies, but like Mr. Popster's arms are really giving Patrick from SpongeBob. And that's interesting to me. Not interesting enough to stay as I still have wrapping paper to sell. And I hate being trapped. Oh, hey, I've been stuck in here for a while now. Well, that's not promising. I can't find anything to go up that vent. Oh my gosh, leave it to me. I am a vent specialist. Can you help me find something to climb up to? Bud, you have asked the right person. I'm the vent master general, queen of the vent. Placing ladders and leading the people to freedom. Follow me, everyone, to the vent. Huh, okay, that was less of a vent and more of a trap door situation, but you know, I still like it. Hold on a second, am I gaining sparkly powers? I think I've just gained the power of speed, which is pretty convenient given all the spike pits. So glad that I made a Roblox in real life video before the advent of spike pits. It could have been a very different video. Never ceases to amaze me how many people in Roblox have entire sections of their house just dedicated to spike pits. Oh my gosh, what's Mr. Popster up to? He's got a button. No, don't press the button. Oh, what did it do? Huh, okay, don't actually know what it did. I thought the button might change the room in some way, maybe affect my escape, but I'm being a little bit self-centered, you know. The button doesn't necessarily have anything to do with me. Mr. Popster has hobbies, surely. What does your button do, Mr. Popster? Are you launching missiles into space? Poor Mr. Popster, just trying to launch his nuclear missile and a bunch of neighborhood children show up trying to sell him wrapping paper. He's like, I don't care how shiny the paper is. I'm going to the moon. Magic missile. Magic missile! To which I say, best of luck, Mr. Popster. Please allow me to leave your house. I would love to leave you and your space mission in peace if you would just please, please let me leave. Why must we go through this charade? Do love a moving walkway though, so you know, if I had to choose, this is much better than the spike pit. Ooh, another vent. I don't love falling into the unknown though, it's a bit too mysterious. Actually, you know what? That wasn't so bad, and I get to press a button. So that's fun. Kind of gives me flashbacks to when I first started playing Minecraft and I would mine the block directly below me and then fall into a terrifying cave. Use wooden planks to go across. I feel like the graffiti that Mr. Popster has left around his own house is probably the most compelling evidence we have so far that he have went crazy. It's very confusing. It's like, he wants me to stay. He wants me to escape. He wants me to stay. He's trapping me in the house, but then he's like, leave me alone. And then he's like, you'll never escape. And then he like writes clues on the floor and the wall. It's like, yeah, what's, what's the plan here, Mr. Popster? We can communicate, we can work together, we can sort something out. Unless, of course, you trap me in here for so long that my class doesn't win best wrapping paper sales, in which case I will never forgive you. Come on, let's hop in this vent. You do not have to ask me twice. By the way, have you been collecting the nuggets around the map? I heard you will get a special badge if you collect all of them. A special badge? My dude, why did he mention that earlier? I could have been on Nuggy Patrol. I could have been the Nug Master. What am I supposed to do now? Just kiss goodbye to my nug dreams? 
Let me know in the comment section if you think these are gold nuggets or chicken nuggets. I mean, look at that. It could really go either way. Comment a chicken emoji or a gold bar emoji. Oh my gosh. I feel like it's a pretty important distinction if they're chicken nuggies or gold nuggies. It's like possibly I am collecting a small fortune or possibly I am picking someone's food up off the floor. Uh oh. Hey there, Mr. Popster. Oh, yeah, I was actually just leaving. I was no need to show me out. I can find my own way to the door. And, uh, Kate, what's with the arms cupboard? That makes me pretty nervous. Probably gonna have to tell my parents about this when we get home. Luckily, Mr. Popster is stuck at the table. Doesn't look like he's gonna be bothering anyone anytime soon, so I'm just gonna show myself out. <laughs> Guys, the urgency with which I would like to escape Mr. Popster's house is increasing. Luckily, we've got this elevator. Hopefully, it's leaving us somewhere safe. Preferably outside the house. I mean, hopefully just like as far away from Mr. Popster as we can possibly get. And oh, good. Yeah, we're still in the house. My brand new white unicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. A rickety bridge over some lava and table saws. Good. That's much more safe. Probably. Oh, no. See, and that's exactly why I do not recommend having lava in your hallways. There's just too much of a risk that your guests might accidentally turn to ash. And that's something I try to avoid. Look, I was not immediately convinced by the argument that Mr. Popster has lost his mind, but, um, I don't know, the installing table saws in the middle of the hallway. It is starting to point in that direction. Doesn't speak to a well mind. This seems like a maze. Can you find a way out of this? Look, I don't like my chances. I'm not actually the best at mazes, but I'm gonna give it a red hot crack because I kind of feel like we don't have any choices here. Ooh, the arrows on the ground are pretty helpful. Maybe I can find a way out of this. Maybe I will find a way out of this unless this is some sort of dirty Mr. Popster trick. Painting arrows on the ground leading me to goodness knows where. Don't really like my chances trying to figure out the maze by myself though, so might as well just follow the arrows and see what happens. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, did I find my way out? Oh my gosh, not me finding my way out of the maze merely by following the arrows. I'm a maze prodigy. I'm amazing. I'm starting to think that I might make it out of Mr. Popster's house after all. Actually, aim higher. I'm starting to think that I might not only make it out of Mr. Popster's house alive, but I might also help lead my class to victory. Most money raised for the school fundraiser? If I can escape this booby-trapped house, I can do anything. Check it out, I can probably even float up men in many stories, like I'm in Charlie in the Chocolate Factory or something. Whoa. Okay, which part of Mr. Popster's enormous house are we in now? Oh, some more graffiti. Looks like he left on the ground. Did I go down here? I'm kind of scared. Mmm, press all the buttons. Okay, no problem. I love pressing buttons. It's the satisfying feeling of pressing a button. It's the mystery of not knowing what the button will do. It's all a bit exciting. That one made a nice noise. We love that. It's more buttons, though. Many more buttons. Maybe in the future, Mr. Popster and I can bond over our mutual love of buttons. You and me, Mr. Popster, two button lovers against the world. People question why we love buttons as much as we do, but oh my gosh, an exit. <gasps> oh, we made it outside. Great news, everyone, we made it outside. We have almost escaped Mr. Popster's clutches. Surely I'm safe now. Surely he's not gonna follow me across the road. That would take a considerable amount of effort. And doesn't he have buttons he wants to be pressing? Not me running directly into lava. That was a bit embarrassing. I'll do a bit of a boulder jump this time. Yep, that's a that's a better strategy. Isn't that always the way though? It's like you escape your crazy neighbor's house and then you just run directly into a pool of lava. It's like we've all been there. Some human experiences are truly universal and this is one of them. Oh my gosh, why am I underground again? No, this is not where I wanna be. I can feel that we are really close to the exit. Let's run through these blocks. We were, we were at the exit. We got to a door that said exit. We were outside. You're the one who led us back into a cavern. I don't think that there's anybody down here who wants to buy wrapping paper. How am I supposed to make my sales when I'm trapped underground? My teacher's never gonna believe me. She's gonna be like, Holly, doesn't look like you tried very hard to sell your wrapping paper. And I'll be like, um, actually I was trapped underground. Hey, I think there's something dangerous and huge up there. You can go on first. Please be careful. This might be a hard one to escape. Good luck, player. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, thank you for helping me get this far. I like how my bacon friend's like, uh, you can go first, as if that's some sort of favor to me. Like, thanks, guess I'll go see what's huge and dangerous. And okay, I think I see what it is. 
Not Mr. Popster compensating for his Patrick Star arms by building robotic arms. You've proved your point, Mr. Popster. I'm terrified. Please let me leave with my life or I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to shoot chippa chips, lollipops at you. Just a constant barrage of lollipops until you allow me my freedom. Oh my gosh, he's stomping his little robot feet. <laughs> Eventually. And another one, and another one, and, okay. He's still stomping. Ooh, a big stomp. All right, you had enough? You had enough lollies? Okay, I, I thought he might disappear or something, but I'm not gonna wait and see what happens. I'm just gonna leave. No longer my business. To the top, to the top. Oh my gosh, that is a huge chest. <gasps> not opened. My gosh, I forgot my nuggies. 